right, today we're putting a set of rigid D-series um, LED lights. We're replacing these up here, which are I think those are halogen. They're the stock lights that come on this tractor. This is a Coyote 4510 NX series. And um, how come? The lights are not very bright. And if you come around to the front, whenever you lift this bucket up, just a, maybe a foot off the ground, the loader covers the headlights. In order to do this, you gotta pull the cab off. There's six bolts that hold the cab on, cab cover. So we'll pull all those bolts off, the nuts, take the top off, and then you can access all the wiring to the, uh, to the lights. And also we were, going, we we're going to be changing out the speakers inside too, because I figured if we, uh, we're gonna go through the process of taking the top off, doing the lights, we might as well uh, replace the speakers. The stock speakers aren't that good either. They're okay for a tractor, but the ones that we're putting in are uh, a lot better. Just loosen it up for now. So these are, this is the factory connection to the lights. What I'm doing is I'm cutting these right out. And I'm cutting the, the connector right off. Just getting rid of them all together. And then pulling the wire pulling it right through grommet and everything. You, you'll end up pulling the grommet out. You want the grommet, keep that. Put it to the side, take your old light off. And that's it, now this hole is too small for your rigid bolt. We'll have to put that together, but the you can show that one over there, but that bolt is uh, a little bit bigger, so you gotta drill a 5 16 Use a 5 16 drill bit, make your hole just a little bit bigger. And what I did is I put a rag right here, taped it, and so uh, all my uh, fines didn't hit the windshield, mess up the windshield and my drill too. So when you do your tape, put it up on your, uh, your housing here or your uh, ductwork for your heater. If you put it on here and mess it up, it'll mess up your seal. So, this is how you want to tape your rag on there. You probably don't need to do this, but it's just a precaution. Actually, put this bracket in like that for a higher profile. But for what we're doing, we want it as low as we can get it. So we're gonna put it, put it in there like this.
So now back here to the wires. We cut uh, cut the ends off. I strip them back about quarter inch. And I got these connectors. These are weatherproof connectors, so I can we'll shrink down the ends after we get them crimped. Give these a little twist, it makes them a lot easier to go in these connectors. Alright, so this is the plug for the lights. This came factory and what I did is I cut it off a factory wire harness. We left got tons of wire here so I don't really need all of this. And the black one is the hot on here. So go we'll black to black, red to yellow. What I'm gonna do, oh where'd my grommet go? Here. So don't forget to put your grommet on. Put a little heat to the end of these. these. You don't have to use these weatherproof because they're obviously up underneath the hood, but I have them, so I just thought I'd use them. These little torches work really good. No need. What I did is I put a little curl in them like this, and I zip tie them like that, so they're not touching the glass on the cab. So this is what you're going to end up with, something like this. And then the cab, when the cab, when you have your cab on, the cab comes out to about right here, so these wires will actually be pretty much underneath the cab. The whole idea of this is if this light goes back, we can get rid of the light, plug a new light in. And actually, if we buy new lights, I can always pull this out a little bit, cut this connector off, and put the connector to the new type of light that we put on. And we shouldn't have to pull the cab off again for this job. And I believe these are four inch. This is the old one. We already changed one speaker, so this is the original cover in the cab. And we're going to these. These are a two piece. So you put you'll put the ring up there underneath the speaker like that on the inside. This ring goes on the inside. And then your cover just goes right on. Just snaps right on top. They look a little nicer and on the inside. My old one cracked. One of one of my old ones cracked, so that's why I did this why that's why this project started. This 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 cover cracked on the inside. I went to replace the cover. And I discovered that there's nuts. There's screws through here and then a nut on top of the liner. And you gotta pull the roof off your, off your cab to get to those nuts to take the speaker. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna do all that work, I might as well just change the speakers out. So this is the new speaker. You can see the difference. They're both, I believe they're four inch. I could uh, verify that for you. 
Obviously, you can just see the quality difference. So this is the whole purpose why this started is because I wanted to replace the cover that's in the cab because it's broke. And when I started to take the screws out, you can see there's nuts on the back of this uh, speaker. So the screw, it just turns and turns and turns and then you never, uh, so you gotta pull the cab off anyway. So figured I would uh, replace the lights all at the same time. This is your minus. So when I cut these off, what I did is I marked I've marked one of these, so you know that's the minus. So I just put that one on right away. That way I don't get mixed up. these new speakers there's a there's a minus right here and a plus right here mark these things went on really hard on these so what I did is I put a little took a tiny little bit of silicone like this is electrical just put on there it went on there a lot easier so this is a minus it's got our mark on it Here we go. Get an idea of where you're at. Eight bolts that hold this, six bolts, hold this cab on. This is really an awesome design on this cab because it comes, or the, yeah, the top, or I don't want to say the cab, but the cab top comes off so easy. Used a quarter inch drive, and you'll find you'll see why when you go to do the windshield, you want to get your, your uh, socket up above your windshield glass, or else you'll uh, scratch your glass. If you use an extension on this, you'll be right into your glass, your windshield. So these side ones don't matter because it's got this rubber all the way around the window, so you can straight up on in there. And I actually used just a wrench. I didn't even use the socket for all of them except for the front. And I think the back I used a, uh, I used the socket. 
that you can get your wrench in on these, on these ones. And it just works the best because then you're way away from your glass. And you can get up in there no problem. It's best to use a wrench with a little ratchet type wrench. But you don't have to reef these down, just snug them. And then I am actually going to put the caps back on. These are the caps that go on it. And when you take those off, I just put a screwdriver on there and they came off really easy. You could probably leave them off, but they look good. Implement on the back, works the best. And I used a, uh, I, I did use the wrench on these. It just worked out the best because like I said, a socket, you were kind of getting into the glass a little bit. see that your ratchet is up above the glass. The glass is right here. So you're well away from your glass on this. And you don't have to reef these down. 